Yo, what's up, guys? I have got a another good old second sequel of The False Prince. Hello, fellow plot questers. It is I, Aaron the Plot Quester, and welcome back to another video. And today, I got the Runaway King, the second book of the Ascendance trilogy, also known as the series where the False Prince is at. And well, let's get right on to it. So, in the last book, Jaren became king. However, his rule is pretty unstable because he didn't really win the respect of all the regions and they are pretty much against them, which is, which sucks. And the captain of his guard obviously wants to become regent so that, you know, he can rule because, you know, political power and all that. And that really, really sucks right now. It really, really sucks right now. And then now, Avenia seems to be threatening to invade them with the pirates, which is another level of sucking because he... Jaren, he can sense the war coming, and he sees it as inevitable. However, everyone on, uh, around him is like, eh, we can pay them up, eh, it'll be okay. Um, no, it's not okay. War is literally coming. Hello, wake up. It's When it's too late, it's too late. If it's too early, well, that's, that's, that doesn't cause any harm, does it? Like, seriously, like, why would you listen to your own king? Like, it annoyed me to no one, by the way, when I read it, as you can probably tell. And, because of that, Jaren is sort of sort of half banished and he's sort of sent away to cool down and basically they're trying to choose a regent over a vote and basically what he does is he goes okay I'm gonna go to the pirates I'm gonna go to the pirates and I'm gonna kill the pirates kill the pirate king and become the pirate king and take over the pirates because right now the pirates and Avenia are threatening me at once and that's not really good and at the start of the book Rodden who he thought was you know so friendly came up to him and literally said, I will kill you if you move and stuff. And he injured him and it's like, Rod is apparently in the pirates now, like what's going on? And he basically then, you know, does, goes all sage mode, uses the Avenian accent and goes and tries to find out where the pirates are. And so after a while, he manages to go inside the pirates after a little bit of, you know, joining a gang of thieves <laughs> and stealing a bunch of stuff. He manages to get introduced into pirates, and after tricking them, after saying, Hey, I know where a bunch of gold is at. Carving royalty. And he walks in and basically becomes a pirate. And Rodden isn't here yet, by the way, so that's why he, the entire ruse works. And so there, he actually sees that Imogen is there. Like, what? Why? Why is she here? Like, how? What? Huh? The, the reason for that is the fact that she found out that, of course, at the, at the start of the book, basically, what... Jaren did was, hey, Imogen, you suck, get out. Why? Mostly because Imogen, you know, he wanted to protect her because, you know, he just, you know, almost got assassinated by two people in his own castle, so he knows no one, nowhere is safe, and he, everyone knows that he cares about Imogen, and also he cares about his, uh, Amaranda, who is the princess, and so she basically just goes, hey, get out, and basically says all these hurtful things so she would go away. However, Imogen being Imogen realizes what Sage wants and what he's gonna do. And basically he she goes over and she goes over to the pirate camp and becomes a serving maid. Freaking heck in hell, buddy old pal. Now we got Imogen there, and that spices things a little bit up. And then, of course, and then he sort of they everyone sort of finds out that um that and then he plans the two. He plans Imogen and this guy, this little boy that he met, because from the pirates, I mean from the little thief group, and they those two run away together. At least they're supposed to until Gregor comes over and basically traps him. Basically, what that what means is that Gregor is the captain of the guard, and he walks into pirate camp dragging Imogen and the little kid behind him, and basically goes, "Hey guys, I captured these two. They're running away, by the way." And Imogen is the friend of literally the king, and that guy sitting right there is literally the king. What's going on? And Jaren goes, oh, wait a minute. Connor says, said he wasn't asking the right questions when I asked him about, about how he did it. Wait a minute. Does that mean that there's a second traitor? Does that mean that, you know, the captain of the guard might be the second traitor? And... Bingo bango, A was the second traitor, frick. And now we have a problem. So, in desperation, Jaren goes, okay, hey, you, Pirate King, let's duel. 
I'll beat you up and I'll become Pirate King. And he actually wins the fight. And after he wins the fight, um, the Pirate King goes, okay, you gotta spare him a life. And if you spare him a life, I'll spare one life in exchange, you know? And he goes, mm, okay, then spare Mogan's life because I'm, I'll be fine. And yeah, and Mogan runs away again. And the same thing repeats again, which is great. And he gets trapped. And then, you know, the Pirate King, like, hangs him up and is about to, like, to torture him and kill him. Then, Rodin comes in and goes, hey, I want my revenge. I'm gonna kill him. Don't you dare touch him. And he goes, and the Pirate King goes, hey, you, you know, I, I get that you want to get revenge, but I, I sort of want to kill this guy myself, too, you know, and I wanna, I'll, I'll, I'll torture him, then I'll give him to you. And, of course, that doesn't sit very well with Rodden. He cuts everyone up in the room, becomes into the new Pirate King, and tosses our dear Jaren in a, sh in a cell. Yeah, this book gets even more convoluted. And because of that, now Rodden is the Pirate King, and Jaren once again challenges him uh, with a crippled leg because Rodden freaking hit his leg and broke it so he wouldn't run away. And the two fought. They thought, however, Rodden would, wouldn't kill Jaren. And Jaren goes, hey, you know, I always wanted to be your friend. And I always want you to be my friend. So I want you to come here to me as my captain of the guard. Because I want someone I can trust for that. And Rodden goes, hey, but how will you ever trust me? And, and Jaren goes, I know you're a good person because you haven't killed me yet. And I have a broken leg. And you could literally just aim for my broken leg and you would, you would, you know, destroy me. So, in other words, Rodden becomes Jaren's friend. The pirates, therefore, becomes Jaren's literal, you know, allies because he's technically the pirate king. And then he goes back to Carthia, and he gets a new prime minister, uh, Harlow, this guy, old guy that he met while trying to join the thieves that was really nice to him and whose, you know, whose daughter's, whose, like, granddaughter's life he had saved. I know, it's another little thing. And he becomes king, once again. And he's back in power, and everyone's like, because, you know, he actually risked his life, went into pirates, and won. In other words, people are happy with him now. Because, you know, he sort of proved himself as a rightful king. So he just sits on his throne, and now it is war. And three countries are attacking him at once. Wait a minute, three? I thought Avenia was one. That's one country. No, apparently two more countries are attacking. I'm ready for the next book. So that is pretty much the plot summary of the entire book. And... The parts that I always enjoy from this person's books is always the plot twists, like Gregor. Like, honestly speaking, I, like, the plot twists and, like, the sort of, the foreshadowing is actually super obvious if you know to look for it. But, unfortunately, I'm stupid, so I don't look for it. And it's, yeah, it's really, really nice. It's really, really well written. The plot twists are well written. And some of them are a bit, like, even though they are twists, they don't surprise me as much they don't have a big effect because it's not like a <gasps> moment it's more like a oh moment you know what i mean it's like eh, okay so i feel like for the first book like the twist was like major i was like <gasps> are you kidding me actually but for this book it was more like oh 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 crap we're screwed sort of thing so definitely i guess it got a little bit worse however the little the plot and the pacing and the grippingness of the entire book really helped me through it and it was really really nice to read as a little break from you know life and that's pretty much it and like always your plot quester and the plot quester great book with pretty cool characters and honestly speaking sometimes i wish i could be a little bit like jaren you know quick-witted quick-minded and good with the sword i mean who doesn't like a main character who can use a sword and talks well and is handsome like seriously wink wink Goodbye.